everybody. Since you are able to come to the aquarium right now, we're gonna bring the aquarium to you. And we're here with Nikki right now, and we're gonna learn about the zones, the zones, the zones. We're gonna name the zones of the open sea. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be really exciting. Nikki, tell us about what you do here and about the deep sea. Um, well, I take care of all the animals here in the deep ocean, deep sea area. Uh, what would you like to know about them? Well, I know there's different zones of the open sea, just like there's different zones in rock layers. So I know there's epipelagic, mesopelagic, bathypelagic, and bisopelagic. The rest are too deep for you and me to see. <laughs> so tell us about where these guys come from. So a lot of these animals can be found in the 500 feet range. What zone is that? Oh, I believe it's epipelagic to mesopelagic. Very good, okay. Um, the isopods are probably our deepest animal here and the hagfish. Both of them can be found all the way down to about 7,000 feet. That's pretty deep. So those guys are pretty cool. The giant isopods, they live so, so deep. What kind of food is down there for them to eat? So all of these animals are gonna be mostly scavengers. Isopods have kind of been on that range of could be predator, um, but they are looking for animals that have fallen, like a whale that's died and fallen to the bottom, and then all these animals are gonna come along and eat all that up. Wow, sounds really yummy. The circle of life. Oh my goodness, there you go. I guess you need these, they have important jobs and they keep those uh, fallen carcasses all cleaned up, right? Of course, so yeah. Really important. Um, there's some other animals in here that I really like too. Uh, we have Japanese spider crabs here behind us. Can you tell us a little bit about Japanese spider crabs? Yeah, so my favorite thing about our Japanese spider crab is how big they can actually get. All animals in the deep sea actually can get very big. So if you think like the isopod is like a pill bug times a thousand, oh right? <laughs> so Japanese spider crab, they can actually have a leg span of up to about 13 feet. So wait, wait, wait. If I stood on your shoulders and then reached my hands as high as they could go, you would still not be as big as a spider crab. Nope. Do you want to try just in case? Uh, maybe later. Okay, okay later. later. <laughs> Sounds good. Now, these are some amazing animals that we have down here, but I know that you take care of more than just the deep sea creatures. What else do you take care of here? Um, I am in charge of the jellyfish, uh, and also we all take care of like sharks and very cool. Now, I know jellies is right over there, and no, it's not like jam or apricot jelly or my favorite raspberry jelly, unless you do take care of those, in which case I want to learn more about that. But let's make, like our way, <laughs> let's make our way over there and check out the other part of your job. Since you aren't able to visit the aquarium, the aquarium is coming to you.